Hi Pisces, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you are cross watching for a Pisces, the energies could play out from your perspective. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. I do appreciate your support. I provided you with timestamps in the description box as well as the comment section for those of you that would like to skip ahead. So we have triangle that came out. Uh, it looks like a love triangle wanting to come out uh, with someone that's older than you. This person wants to date you. There's somebody that you're involved in a love triangle that wants to date you. They want an opportunity to get to know you. There's somebody that is involved with someone else, guys, but they're thinking you're there. You're where they need to be. If you are married to someone that you're in a love triangle with, I will say that this person is... It looks like they're stepping outside of the connection, guys, for those of you that are married. Yeah, so if you're married, if you share a home with someone or if you're married, I feel like this person uh, is acting single. They act single when you're not around. They're stepping outside of the connection. This person could be giving gifts to other people. Now, if you are not in a committed relationship with this person, I'm just getting like a love triangle and this person is wanting to date you and get to know you. Messy, messy, messy. I saw fling. It said short-term fling at the bottom of the deck. I feel like that's what their true intentions are. They like a good fling. You're growing spiritually. The situation that you're involved in, Spices, is to benefit your spiritual growth. This triangle, believe it or not, guys. Uh, now, not being chosen or not feeling like you're someone's top priority, that hurts. But I want you to know that it's because your higher self is wanting you to value yourself your higher self is wanting you to give all that love that you want from someone else and give it to yourself so you could be dealing with some type of spiritual growth at this time that was ignited by a third party twin flame now me as a reader this card means that you are going to be coming into alignment with something what is this share children with someone here for some of you there's someone here that you share children with it feels a connection with you that's not resonating with you I just feel like there has been a lot of childish behavior that is involving in a connection it says past life connection okay there's definitely some type of past life contract or soul connection you have with this person the children card just represents a lot of childishness coming out a lot of insecurities being exposed uh, and both of you guys are supposed to be evolving on a spiritual level when it when it comes to this connection some of you guys could be moving out I see you moving out in the future. Or you're moving in general. I see you having the funds to pick up and move. We have courthouse. Some of you guys, this is a divorce coming in for you guys. Uh, there's going to be some type of settlement. Now, it plays out in your favor. Great fortune. So how, whatever you want. Like, I'm getting some of you don't want the house. Some of you do. Uh, I see you have great potential of keeping your home and, play, and the court case playing out in your favor. Some of you guys, this is an organization that will owe you money in the future. There could have been someone who did a bad job on your house. Like I'm getting like there was a company or there will be a company that comes in and, and they don't give you what was promised. 
And so you could be getting a settlement due to a major issue here, a major inconvenience. Occupation, what is the occupation about? There's someone at your job that is sweet on you. There's someone has a crush on you at the workplace. Major challenge to overcome, and then we have wealth. So you're climbing towards success. I see you overcoming this challenge. Don't give up. This mountain, it, it, like I feel like some of you guys may feel like you're at the very uh, bottom of the mountain, but when you get to where you're going, you're going to be very happy with the results. We have the wealth, so there's an increase in money coming towards you. Give me an angel number for Pisces. Make sure you're nurturing yourself at this time. I feel like what this is trying to say um, is when you see the number six or when you see 666, that is asking you to recenter yourself, uh, take a step back, reevaluate, re recenter yourself. Now, Pisces, I'm getting a message of some of you being very kind, very generous, very nurturing to other people. Now, you could just be someone that you could be a parent or, you know, you're just definitely the go-to friend or there, there's something about you that's very loving and caring. And I feel like it's very important for you to understand that that is your gift. Your gift is, uh, you know, being loving and caring towards other people. You are a natural born nurturer and you have a great talent for helping and healing others. However... You're needing to make sure you give to yourself first. You're needing to make sure you replenish your energy. You need to make sure you set limits, okay? Because sometimes givers don't set limits and, and then takers don't, you know, they don't set limits either. And so it's like if you're constantly giving, 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 there might be someone that's constantly taking, 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 taking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that can leave you feeling depleted and drained and not being able to share the energy the, uh, the way you should, right? So the card says your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and you have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. So I'm wanting you to nurture your, give, give some of that loving energy to yourself, especially this weekend. What does Pisces need to surrender? Let's see what you need to surrender, babe. What does Pisces need to surrender? Surrender to your soul's path. So you got a big mission here. It says your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Remember the beginning message? Embrace every lesson in every moment. So let's move on to you singles and new love. What's coming in for the singles? What's coming in for the singles? Please, what's coming in for the singles? A great connection. A lot of chemistry between you and this person. There could be some gossip surrounding your love life, Pisces, for some of you, or there's some gossip surrounding a new connection. of home. This person's well established. Okay, this one wanted to come out too. So 
So I do see somebody that has their own place. Uh, they are mature. We have mature woman, male or female. This is someone who uh, I feel like they're part of a high society or they're some type of high status, high ranking. This person they have at their job. They're, very, they're, they're really taken seriously by the people they know. Now, there is something here. It's saying long distance. I feel like for some of you guys, this person may travel a lot for work. Or this is somebody that spends a lot of time working, whether it's travel or not. Like, I feel like you develop a really great connection with someone, but then you realize that all of these nice things that they have, they do work very hard to have. So I do feel like there's someone who's very loyal to their job, but they are feeling a great connection with you. And they're wanting to... They're wanting to bring someone into their home. They're wanting to bring someone into their life, okay, is what I'm getting. They're looking for somebody mature is what it's telling me. Singles, please. For the singles. Singles, don't give energy to things that don't give energy back. Okay, I'm just getting, I'm just going to pull a few cards of advice. Uh, I feel like you already know this, but this is just a reminder. Uh, we have the temperance in reverse. If you don't want to have patience for someone, don't. Don't bend for other people. Look at this, the hanged man in reverse. When it comes down to it, if someone's not willing to give you what you want, then, I mean, there's always someone else who will, is what, I, is what I'm feeling like. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the first signs of someone not being loyal, that should tell you something. It's a big red flag. And then the Temperance in reverse, I feel like there's somebody here that there may be energies around you that want you to be patient with them while they figure things out, but it's a waste of time. It's telling me it's a waste of time because I see someone really amazing coming towards you. All right, so those of you that are involved in new love situations. The Pisces that are involved in new love. What is happening in this connection? Okay, we have a long-term partnership developing here. Ten of Pentacles uh, could be moving to the next stage of this connection. But I'm definitely getting like, somebody wants you in their life for the long haul, Pisces. Yeah, Queen of Cups, person wants you. They see a future with you. And I'm getting somebody wants to build something that you two can be proud of. this person you know their feelings for you run deep but there could be you know the ten of pentacles there's uh they want to make you happy this is someone who wants to make sure you're good that's what i'm getting like they want to make sure you're good like this is someone who has your back you see them as the king of cups so this is you and someone falling in love with each other cancer scorpio pisces uh capricorn taurus virgo energy we could have an earth placement or a water placement here. I feel like there could be some conflicts or uh, outside energies that are wanting to threaten this connection, but it's outside energy. I do see some type of misunderstanding that might be coming in between you and someone else that needs to be worked through there could be some type of emotional conversation heart to heart conversation you are going to have with someone due to some type of conflict that might comes in from the outside how do they see pisces they want to build a life with you guys three of pentacles Wow, they see you as someone who's extremely compatible with them in their lifestyle and what they want for their life. This is somebody that wants to give and build a connection. 
Some of you guys, there could be a mutual agreement about children. Um, I'm not quite sure what that's saying because three of pentacles, six of cups. I feel like there will be a mutual agreement about children. That could be the conflict for some of you. Maybe you guys might have a disagreement about that. That's very specific though. But I'm just getting in the long run, there's some type of mutual understanding about children. I just, guys, this is someone that is wanting to go above and beyond for you. This is someone that sees, uh, I have the numbers 33, 36, 35, 56, 53, 31. These are just numbers that are standing out to me. Um, but it all boils down to is this person wants you in their future. They want to share a life with you and build a future with you. They think a lot about the future. You see how he's laying down? Can you see in that window? This person is planning a future. Very defensive over you, okay? I am getting like this person could potentially feel like you two are under attack and they're very defensive over the relationship. But this is definitely someone that... Um, I'm getting cocky. That's what I'm getting with the King of Wands. Um, but I'm getting like, they have the, they have it, to, they can back it up. I don't feel like this person's confrontational at all. I just feel like if something, they, they definitely know how to defend what is important to them. And they can do it in a mature way. There's all kings out. This person is well-mannered and I'm just getting like emotionally mature. And they defend what is theirs. So, you know, those of you that are in new love situations, yeah, you know, it's not going to be all hunky-dory 24-7. There will be conflicts that arise, but you two are going to be very, like, pleasantly surprised with how you and this person maneuver through the conflicts. All right, let's do uh, the past person current issues. So if you are not wanting a reading on someone that you have history with, this is not for you. This part will not be for you. Blocks and communication coming out right off the bat. Somebody could have ignored the other's communication. I see you letting this go and walking away. Some of you guys feel like you have no other choice. Like, that Eight of Cups is like a disappointment. Like, I feel like you're trying not to hold on to something too tightly, the Nine of Pentacles, because this person is too slow. They've been too slow to come around. Taking their sweet time. You feel like you're losing strength, or, you know, you're, you're losing hope for the situation or you're losing the grip like four of pentacles in reverse strength in reverse a lot of you guys are wanting to release this because i'm getting a release how do they see pisces we have leo here taurus virgo capricorn uh cancer pisces scorpio how do they see pisces gemini energy they see you as the lover so Somebody could see you as forbidden. Somebody sees you as a choice they need to make. Or, or like, I'm getting like, there's two directions this person could go. Death card. So there's a situation that needs to come to an end. Yeah. You know, they feel this deep connection with you, but they walked away from it. Six, I mean, this person walked away from this feeling, this bond that they share with you. For some of you guys, it's because they have other responsibility to something else. Yeah. 
So what do they want to do right now towards Pisces? Six of Pentacles. Three of... They want to give to the situation. Now, the problem that I have with the Six of Pentacles is it's like this, this is someone who wants to reunite with you, but it's kind of like I'm getting a breadcrumb vibe from this reading. Now, that's not always what the Six of Pentacles means. The Six of Pentacles is definitely uh, a card of generosity and giving to a situation, but my intuition and the rest of these cards that are out, Pisces, I feel like somebody wants to keep you on the hook because they want to keep you as an option. Uh, they enjoy having that knowing or that thought that you'll be around. But the thing is, it looks like you're not going to be around because I see you kind of throwing your hands up and walking away. see them removing the guard in the future guys and communicating yeah the magician virgo energy i do see forward movements in this person dropping their guard so those of you wondering if they're going to reach out i am seeing that yeah king of swords in reverse so this person will be dropping their guard. I see this person, you know, the lovers is also that connection that doesn't make sense. It's not based in logic. But the King of Swords in reverse is kind of like they're letting go of the need to rationalize the connection. What are their potential next actions? I just see you waiting for communication, guys. So I don't know how long the wait will be, guys. I am getting the numbers eight and the numbers three. Okay, that could be eight weeks, eight months. Um, I would never suggest you wait for anyone. I'm just telling you their potential next outcome is to, they want to lower their guard and I do see eventual communication come in, but it looks like it's taking a long time to get here. Because the page of pentacles in reverse, that is uh, someone having a hard time learning a lesson. Someone having a hard time fully getting it or taking action on what it is that their heart is telling them to do. What is their hidden truth for Pisces, please? What is their hidden truth towards Pisces? I wish I could share my good news with you. So there's something that they want to talk to you about is what I get from that card. That they watch your social media, they check in on you. They daydream about a life with you, like this person fantasizes being with you, but... It says that they love you. But I mean, you have to let this person's actions speak, you know, I feel like somebody does want to be with you Pisces, but there is definitely a mess here and there's definitely a difficult situation that they would have to get out of and confront and they're having a problem confronting it. We have Gemini energy, there is strong Leo, strong Aquarius, strong Virgo, Aries. We do have a little bit of earth here and water. Could be any sign, these are general. Now we are going to do the, if you're dealing with a sign, okay, cross watchers. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. Cross watchers, please. Aries through Pisces. Okay, Pisces, if you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries wants to be with you. You're their wish come true. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus is in love with you. 
They're falling for you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini is closed off right now. The Gemini is ignoring their emotions. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer has romantic feelings towards you. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo, there's mutual feelings. Uh, I'm getting a relationship between you and a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo can't take responsibility or accountability. Toxic, toxic, toxic. They need to rec they need the, that Virgo needs to reflect. Okay, I don't see him doing it. If you are dealing with a Libra, it's over. Too much betrayal can't come back from that. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio wants to, they want a relationship. They want to tell you they love you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius would like a new beginning with you. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn wants a new beginning with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aquarius wants a relationship. Oh my God. If you're dealing with a Pisces, if you're dealing with another Pisces, the moon, the devil, this Pisces has some attachment um, issues. I feel like they're attached to something else right now. If you're, if you're dealing with another Pisces, uh, there's a Pisces that knows they need to get out of the situation, but I feel like there could be some codependency issue there. Okay. Uh, I feel like this, this Pisces has not necessarily acknowledged that there could be some fears surrounding leaving a situation that provides them with some type of security. So all right, you guys, if these message resonated, I do appreciate you hitting that like button. If you are new here, I hope you subscribe and become a part of our family. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time. Bye.